start if we've got four people and I haven't heard from anybody that isn't coming. So Marcia sent a note. She said Oh she did? Uh-huh. When? Five twenty-three. In my inbox. Okay, and is she coming? No. Do we have six? Sick. Oh. Did we print up the agenda? I have the work plan. Um it's up there and oh, we I can we can if you want a printed copy, Kevin can go read. Oh, no, I just sure. you see we usually have them, I remember. Oh, yeah.
Uh, when, and when's the work plan? So we're going through the work plan. That's one of our agenda items. So we'll okay. do that. Um, okay, so Claire, welcome. We have Kevin sitting in for Katie. Hello, how are you? And we have some guests here. We have uh, Laura and Ken, and they will introduce themselves and give public comment. Sure. So hi, everyone. I'm Laura Skwizinski. I'm running for trustee this year. I had actually not planned to give public comment today. Um, I do think you all are doing a fabulous job. I just wanted to come sit in and get to hear what's happening. I loved getting to attend two weeks ago and looking forward to hearing more of this time. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, I am Ken Lich. This is Finn Lich. We uh, live at 1326 South Adelaide Court. Uh, I, too, am running for a trustee this year. Uh, I just wanted to stop in and compliment you guys on how great of a job you're doing. Uh, I, uh, like many of you, or all of you, uh, am also on a committee. I'm on the Open Space Committee. Uh, and I know how much effort that takes and to see the extra meetings that you guys put in is really admirable and it kind of uh, provides an extra oomph for us to do a good job as well. But um, I think the fact that you guys got not just what you asked for at the budget meeting, but then some speaks volumes to how much uh, good you guys are doing for our community and how much we really needed what you guys are doing. So I just want to say thank you for everything you're doing and really appreciate it. And the board it. still needs to vote. That's right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was going to say when the budget gets yeah, finalized, yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. the yeah. way they are, but thank you very much. Appreciate it. Well, come anytime and bring him to Yeah, really. I'm yeah. so cute. <laughs> You can get comfortable with we just pass the yeah. <laughs> right. Well, we've ordered on a bedtime, so I'm probably going to take off now so I can yeah. get him back, back home for, for his regular bedtime. But thank you. We just want to stop in and say so hi. He's so cute. Can you pass him around? Now you can. <laughs> I just want to hold him. I do. Remember in the budget plan, they originally had it under caps. <laughs> it's not a caps expense. What the um, landscaping of the roundabout? Oh, yeah. oh, right, right, yeah. yeah. So, but you guys do want to weigh in on it, and and as soon as possible too, because remember it, it was. I loved it in its formality, but somebody with a little more artistic whatever than I have because the art is of a certain style and the landscaping was of a different style and I thought, well, that keeps the interest going rather than a native more. Yeah, and, and what's out there right now is all roses too. So if right. we drive down, it's very formal in that sense. Yeah, I'm so, real impressed with all that landscaping. Are you supposed to weigh in on what goes around it? Oh, uh, I, I think that we absolutely should weigh in what goes around the roundabout. I mean, we, we made comments and noticed that the grasses were too high on the one that's on Center Drive. So. Which is why we wanted to talk to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. No, it's on, it, we do want to talk to her. I 
just don't know. They had the exact grasses in this, and we had those stone pedestals. And, you know, and it's, so, it's okay, just so long as we put it in here. Did Dow have any suggestions for landscaping? I think he sort of deferred to okay. whatever we thought was best. Um, and, I, and I think it matters too, like whatever the pedestal rocks are as yeah. well. Like that makes a difference in terms of. And when will we know that? That's a good question. Yeah. There's a lot of unknowns um, in the Dow in the Dow category, which we'll talk about him a little bit later because we want to talk about the programs and ideas for what to do with um, the evening with Dow and then the adopt an artist or whatever we call that or what we decide to do with that. So. Um, um, so don't we have some stuff already typed up on the 2019 one? Yeah, the 2019, uh, not anything. This is the one. Um, and this is just a PDF. Is there, can you edit it? Do you guys have editable uh, It might be. Or can we you. copy it and put it in a Word document to edit it? We could do that too. Okay. Um, So I think, you know, if we look at the 2018, obviously first quarter hold elections, uh, determine presence at town events, I think that's pretty much um, status quo, in my opinion, that we, you know, just like we did, we were at the 4th of July and we were at Chili Fest, but we were doing an event, but. Um, and now we have our own. Right, events. we'll have our own, right. so we don't necessarily so have to. Um, have a booth. And at Chili Fest, honestly, um, unless we're doing a project, uh, I heard both ProStack and OSAC, um, they were crammed into a booth together with RCAC, and so there just wasn't, a, there's not enough room anymore at Chili Fest. They just literally run out of room for, and so the committees were click crammed, so we were lucky that we had, we were off on the side with our project. We could just copy and paste it into. Uh, I did. It, this yeah. is what it First looks like. If we oh, okay. Paste it. They did all that. <laughs> 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 Because I was going to copy it. I didn't know you could turn a PDF into a Word document. Can you open, can you go to Word and just open it there? Like yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Okay. Here. You can copy and paste, uh, but you lose the formatting. Um, it was, well, let's see. I think that well, maybe we'll just write it down and then bring it. We can just write it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we don't have to edit the document. Mm -hmm. It's the one time I didn't bring my computer. But it was more um, slow and steady, so I think we. Did we count how many murals we did it? 47. Oh, Kevin, do you want to use my iPad? I, I have mine. I'm happy to write I it. I think we've gotten them all spoken for between there's going to be a murals and mingle chamber event, the oh. Boy Scouts, the girls, Claire's Girl did Scouts ten. did 10. Yeah. Oh, cool. And so Daryl and Jane were so nice to get all the stuff. Great. Um, it was already for us. Yeah, it was super fun. It was a mural mingle. Okay. It was great. Yeah, it's the 9th. It's the October 9th. Yes. Tuesday, October 9th. Very stable. Um, and in the minutes from the last meeting, oh. the if there's any leftover, meeting. we all can paint them, and then there's another Girl Scout troop that want, wanted to paint. So there's no way we're not going to finish getting it. Nobody would done. want me to paint it. Oh, <laughs> Unless it was all one color. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it should be under here, but I don't see that. <laughs> can you open? You can't open. Oh, no, 2018 work plan. That's okay. We'll just take notes. It's fine. You can do that. That's okay. Did you count how many mural squares? 47. We're done. But I mean, adding to 45 from before. How many do we have painted? That would be nine. Yeah. Okay, so there's not any that have been painted anywhere else. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Good news is we're not secretly painting them in my sleep. <laughs> no. Um. It's all right. That's that's fine. We'll just take. Um, we have a great note taker down there. We can all write stuff down too. Um, okay, so the not a problem. Um, first quarter top two hold the elections, determine presence. We decide that's the same. Um, okay, we can take out the roundabout recommendation. Um, so I think instead of begin to develop cultural arts and public spaces master plan, it is the RFP. Hopefully, we yeah. will have worked on that, sent it out, and been able to start selecting. So this should be selection of uh, 
selection of the consultant. Consultant for the master yeah. plan. Yeah. Um, and I would like to amend it to say cultural arts and public spaces master plan and um, and uh, arts district or cultural arts district. I want to make sure that we don't lose sight of that. Uh, having skimmed your 36 page PDF. <laughs> yes. Oh, I know, I printed it up here. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I think that's important because it talks about um, the, uh, uh, how important it is to have that designation in order to um, be included in not just the place making decisions, but the urban development. So I think that's important. Um, yeah, and I, am, I know I sent this out late, but I think it's a great document for pre-planning in terms of, you know, it doesn't actually tell us how to write the RFP, but I think it gives us a good guideline for um, what to think about and consider as we move forward. And um, question. Yes. Have we moved on to the RFP discussion? Or are we still no. allowed? No, we're just talking document? about okay. the document. That okay. I just wanted out. to make sure I was in the right spot. <laughs> yeah. So, Gil, so one item to help select the consultant for cultural arts, public spaces, and arts district mm -hmm. master plan. So, do you want to, in that same quarter, uh, work with consultant to um, articulate the, the process? Meaning, is it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Include mm -hmm. the public? Do you call, have artists represent, you know, that thing in that? Right. You just exactly. Who are the stakeholders so, uh, and who do we work with, with consultant to, to define process, to define community process? Is that what you would mm -hmm. call it? Community involvement. Community, community process. process. Is that first quarter? I mean, do you think we'll get the master plan consultant I determined? Uh, well, we can always move to second quarter. Okay, so what did you say? We're to work with consultant to define community process. And stakeholders? Community and community slash stakeholder. That's a good word. Process uh, for master plan. If, um, and then, of course, the next sentence there, it doesn't have to be separate item, present to the word, right? Right. Because the board's going to have to sign off on that. Sign off on the process. They have to sign off on the process and and the person, the people that are selected to yeah, yeah, the yeah. consultant. That's so why I have to said approve the consultant select, and yeah. then the process. Yeah. Um, yeah. Help select the consultant because the board has the ultimate present to board. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But For if you're me. in the first quarter and it, it falls later. It's always in the second quarter, but if you put in the second quarter, it may not mm -hmm. be yeah, in the no. first quarter. Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, usually first quarter is usually stacked up anyway. So, um, uh, the other thing that I think has to have has to happen, um, and whether we accomplish it now or in the first quarter, is um, uh, planning for the main events. Mm -hmm. And also the Dow seminars. Oh yeah, well the Dow installation. Well, that's in the second quarter, isn't that? Oh, is it? Okay. okay. No, I mean the um, community events with Dow. Yeah, that'll be the first. What's that? Yeah, and that, yeah, we need to we need to get um, some times and dates and things like that. And nothing's been finalized with him at all. But that would be first quarter. But that would be first quarter, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So Dow Dow related events in January. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, yeah. I think it would be nice if we could do something before the end of the so year, but I think with the holidays, it's just too crazy to. Yeah. Yeah. Did, we didn't we talk like January 20th or yeah, something? Yeah, January. I, think so. I don't think we put any dates down, but I think we But I mean, around that third week in January for his, yeah. Because we knew we didn't want to do it before Christmas. Break. So like third week in January. Well, the interesting thing here, 
this committee probably really needs to be on point with all the Dow things because Katie's been I was really Katie's having been all doing them all. Yeah. 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 You want to put it up there? We can't let that go by the wayside. All that communication. Right. Right. Who's doing her job? Um, I don't know what they're doing. Um, honestly, I I would. They haven't decided. Yeah. Anything yet? And they're waiting until obviously the last days of the fourth. Right. But the job description is currently uh, special events and volunteer coordinator, and it seems really out of date. Like, yeah, she does a lot more. That's that. what, you're the volunteer. What is your official title, Kevin? Volunteer, um, something specialist. Right. Mm -hmm. something, yeah. So, um, Daryl, you raised a good point about this, and uh, this committee can certainly make a recommendation to the town board that goes in the next meeting packet, which goes out on Tuesday, that requesting the town board to consider an expansion or redefinition of those responsibilities. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're gonna do it, you probably should do it quickly. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying, because if Katie leaves October 4th, and she is our town liaison backup person, yeah. so we, we kind of nobody. So we almost kind of need to. <laughs> Well, we have nobody to in on, on what would be her job description. And the job description doesn't really, in my opinion, doesn't cover include what she does right. or, include or include us. I mean, nature of cats. It doesn't include the museum. It doesn't include library services. You know, those are the things that I think the, and personally, that the job should expand to. I think she um, can speak to that too before she leaves. Yeah, that would. If we could, think we could capture yeah, the right, she could probably say, hey, yeah, I do this, this, and this, and it's not in my job description. Mm -hmm. I think that is happening. She's I think we're already having these conversations, okay. all the extra things okay. that she does, okay. so they make the... But the point is not just all the extra things she does, but the, we're a new committee. So we, what, what do we, how have we affected? Oh yeah, and we need a town person. We need, right. yeah. we need a staff person. Need a new person. Well, well it's been part of the master plan, a year from now, we may have a staff person who is the superior cultural arts and whatever coordinator. Well, I think that, I mean, if you or look at- Or at least maybe, maybe some hired help. So, uh, yeah, if you look yeah. at both Louis Seville and Lafayette, they actually um, have that person, you know, their title is the cultural arts director, mm -hmm. whatever it is, and underneath it, they do events, they do coordination of events. They're not necessarily running the events, but coordinating the events mm -hmm. and all of the arts that go with it, including museum services and library services. Mm -hmm. And so those are the things that I think, you know, art is brand new in town, but we have a museum and we have, we send money to Louisville, and nobody on staff is really paying attention to library, in my opinion. So that's where I would like to see the job expand into. Did some, speaking of the money for the library, someone asked me the question that if you're, if when those um, units are being built in the town center, do they have a mill levy that is going to the Louisville Library? Mm -hmm. I think it says the same. Every, is it the same? Household. That's what I thought. So if a new townhouse is built in the town center, that 1.5 mills goes to the Louisville Library. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so not only so do our property they'll start values, getting more and more yeah. money. Mm -hmm. So yeah. property values bring up the mill levels, mm -hmm. mill levy, mm -hmm. and all the new construction. Yes. Okay, so back to the um, work plan. So we, uh, the last thing was to work on um, planning for the main events. And um, that might include an RFP to hire um, somebody to run those events. Yeah, for sure. So are we should we put that on there? That is a separate item. Yeah. Right. So we need to have. Are we going to have an update on uh, your street tour? Sure. Didn't you do a tour? We uh, did. It's on here. Oh, yeah. True. It's on here somewhere. True. Oh, um, the marketplace tour. Yeah. Okay. Um, At least I thought I saw it. And then the fifth thing that we had was the attend the Creative Placemaking Leadership Summit. I don't know if that's happening again, but I thought it was really valuable and I would um, love to t attend that or something. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, what was it? The uh, Creative Placemaking Leadership Summit. Oh, yeah, Summit yeah, that, that was, we all went that was to. awesome. Um, I thought that we should either look and see if that's coming back or see if there's something that is similar in this area because I think it's. 
everything that we can learn is really going to be You know, cool. and uh, the Loveland Art, uh, Loveland Sculpture Festival was just recently, right? And remember, we went last year to try to eyeball potential roundabout art. That might be something the committee considers attending every year. Field trips. Our, our artists. Uh, yeah. yeah, how about field trips? Like Denver's doing these amazing murals. Uh -huh. And crush. they're having... Oh, Crush is awesome. I'm yeah. going tomorrow again. It's the second time. So they have yeah. their mural stuff right. in Denver? There's also November 4th, the Denver Arts again. event. Okay. It's kind of everything, really. Do you guys know anything about that? Mm -hmm. November 4th or something, maybe? I'm getting notices. Is like that like with the first Friday thing or something from that? No, it's in Denver and I don't... Because Denver does a first Friday art walk. Oh, do they? In, yeah. I don't... Like Santa no, Fe. Longmont area. does that too. Yeah. There are... Um, I get to both I'll Daily check. Camera and Denver Post hard copy every day. I'm my undergraduate's in journalism. And um, I am constantly pulling out great articles on art in the region or nation or whatnot. I gotta send, just send everybody the URL, but uh, um, there, there are a lot of um, significant happenings that go straight to what our mission is. Um, and so that's, I'm going to Bad pass idea. this around. This was out of Business Week of all things, mm -hmm. but it was there's something called Art Basel, mm -hmm. and they go all around the United States. But the article approaches it and how art can increase revenue and you know all that. Oh, economic development is huge, right? right. So, but it talks about the towns are really clamoring for this time of thing um, because how it affects the finances of the towns that right. bring in art and culture. Yeah. Uh, which, um, just on a side note, at the bottom of your agenda, you all might have a little note that says October 3rd, Grant Writing Workshop. I sign up for it. Anybody is welcome to come with me. It's $15. We do have money in our fund if you um, want to get it paid for, but I just thought it's in Lafayette. It seemed like a great opportunity. So, mm. oh, um, at, that at the library? No, it's not the library. It's um, at the um, Boulder County Arts Alliance. Oh, okay. Uh, for the Dow education piece, if we have time to put that together. So I did this last weekend in Denver. It was called Open Doors, where they have 70 places and they open the door. So for all of us looky-loos that want to go into historic places or new buildings, you can just go and have tours. But the, one of the things that the Denver Architectural Foundation does is they're, they're called hard hat tours. And, you know, so they go into buildings that are being built, you know, just if you're really curious. Mm -hmm. And I thought, that might hmm. be something kind of fun. Like, even if we put that spin on Dow, mm -hmm. like, okay, the hard hat tour, and so we yeah. would do it with the kids, um, just to give, you know, like, uh, yeah, so it like, uh, so this is what it looks like if you were, right, like, in, in construction, right? This is, so, anyway, hard hat tour in yeah. Superior. And I just pulled up the National Consortium for Creative Placemaking. It looks like the West one is going to be in Albuquerque mm. in 2019, oh, yeah. in uh, February. What about that? Makes sense. Oh, bummer. So it's yeah. going to be Albuquerque, Columbia, South Carolina, LA, Philadelphia, and Cincinnati. Yeah. No, yeah. Really yeah. Thanks. Albuquerque is like 15 hours. All right, well, we'll find something else. So I think on first quarter, we should put look for. Um, uh, Continuing education. Yeah, exactly. Continuing, Continuing education field slash yes, field, field trips. <laughs> so okay. research, field, you know, places we want to go, things we want to do in terms of um, getting ideas for future. Okay. 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 What are you? Are you coming in? How long the work plan is? Me? Yes. No? Oh. Oh. All right. Well, I'm studying. We're work. working on the work plan right okay, now. Okay. Great. Um, Thank you. Oh, here we pass them to you. I think we're jumping into second quarter. Um, unless anybody has anything else they want to add in first quarter. Um, oh. My only thought is art for the Element Hotel. Has anybody looked into that? Should we put it on the work plan? I don't. We're um, going to do or not at all. Our, because Katie wasn't at our event, our meeting over at uh, Whole Foods. I thought Marcia mentioned. Maybe was it? Marcia. Someone said that they were going to. Yeah. Well, we should definitely uh, okay. put that. Yeah. I'll, I'll do this. Okay. To that. 
Um, by the way, the new applicant for uh, Superior Shores down on Colton is doing an art installation on the oh, that's right. And so I brought up your guys' name, and they're getting after this. They said uh, 90 days, you know. Yeah, they were actually are planning to be right. at our October meeting. Oh, what good. is it? What is Superior yeah. Shores? It's yeah. a 90 Art supportive. Yes. They they do have. Do we know who the developer is? The size of their, huh? Do we know who the developer is? Yeah. Do yeah. You, what's yeah, their we name? Just approved them. Um, well, I mean, like, like it's uh, 94 uh, units, 20 buildings. Three letters, like D L G or yeah. D L G. Three letters. And, uh, and it's called what Shores? like to approach them or well, that we can have a discussion about we're talking about and the work they'll just come on. here and sort of add ideas around yeah they, they they're putting money towards it but we're on the work plan right now that's just what we okay. want to, they're going to be at our arts of meeting okay. so. but daryl i did suggest your creative playground with sculptures that also are playing yeah. i love the idea so. there's so many cool things that you can yeah. do that are great they look like pieces of art but they're Okay, so second quarter plan and execute crosswalk at three locations. I think we did that. So, um, is we there going to be any continue? Are we doing yeah. continue if we want? Um, urban and, green development. Oh, and I do like the idea. Was it Melinda that you came up with? Just a simple something to go in between, all the way across. To draw more attention in the intersection. Um, no, from corner to corner. I, oh, I don't know. If I can take that There's got to be that. some some basis, um, some like base the underneath the artwork. Oh yeah, we were talking about the ducks. We were talking about ducks. Yes, do yeah. the ducks with a white background. Yeah, or some some right. black or green or something. Some, some yeah, definitely. So yeah, there is yeah. contrast and um, it gives yeah. more. It's, uh, it's more robust. Oh, instead of the look. Do the well, do yeah. the looks, but also add to it. So we want to um, all the way across the crosswalk. So mm -hmm. there's more art and there's more. So part, you know, the look is for the, the pedestrians. And if we do more in the crosswalk, hopefully the drivers will be um, more cognizant of crosswalks and mm -hmm. stopping and Yeah, down. we need, and, and I think whimsy yeah. would accomplish that because mm -hmm. you know, people want to see it. Um, so do we want to keep that there and execute three more I think or something? So. I think so. Yeah. Okay. We can keep it. Um, do we um, need to vote on it? What do you mean? Oh, it's on our work plan. Did you want me to? Sure. Okay. I think we're making. You guys are making the updates on the work plan. No, I'm not touching that. At, I mean, I'm I'm making notes. Yeah. Okay. But I'm not touching that. Um, we can do it in real time. Now. Okay. The question is just. You mean you eventually? Want you're going to want um, momentum. And does three establish momentum on the crosswalks? Three one year, three the next. Or possibly approve three designs, different designs, and have public, see, works, do it. Have public works execute them in each of three locations. So then you have nine crosswalks next year. But this committee just comes up with the designs and the plan. I like that, and they I do like it too. I think it's <laughs> <laughs> Oh my so gosh, it's a starvation. Because I do think they're going to spray it. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, yeah. Like, but if you have yeah. ducks, on the hot you know, going across, yeah. like, we, have, they'll yeah. make way for ducklings, and you put it on top of bright green. Mm -hmm. So. Or blue. Or blue. 
something that stands out. But that's a great idea if we do get the public works, you know, to yeah, buy the templates, get them to mm -hmm. then paint it. So uh, then we you don't do nine next year and then. 18 the following year. Or, 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 or not put a number across the place. Yeah. Or yeah. maybe it's not put a number on it, but, and then but decide locations. <laughs> yeah. We could decide locations and then based on when they paint the crosswalks. Um, you know, when they're painting the fresh white, then we can say, Go okay, right this is the location that we have designated. So not only are you painting the bright white, but then paint yeah. all the so other. Total oh, is this the duck one? Idea. Yeah. Because yeah. then you don't end up with them, you know, scraping, scraping them off. When yeah. Oh, that is cool. Oh, and that's it's really cool. very simple. It's three colors, it's three, yeah. and they're yeah. just blocks. Well, since we're talking about the prairie dogs, that's that's is cool. rather do the prairie dogs there as opposed to ducks? Oh, yeah. sure. Um, no, panther. Well, about. Oh. So the, the, there is a That's small problem. I actually designed a prairie dog to for them to for us to print and paint, but it wasn't well received. Uh, who didn't like it? Um, um, uh, one public works. Not public works. works um, parks and recs. But we can we can keep trying. I mean, well, we're going to do the sculptures. Yeah, yeah. So. the yeah. Blue sculptures yeah. of the prairie dogs, yeah. and I like that a lot. Yeah, that's a good that place to start. Cool. Yeah, keep that plan. And it's, it's going to get very creative. <laughs> It'll freak them out and they'll slow down when it's they art. go to the yeah. intersection. Yeah, yeah. I think that they're, they'll be like, yeah. 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 And it shows, it shows their public works team out there doing Does it. That's really why, yeah. <laughs> guys with the hard hats. Oh, you have to bring oh. it back up. Oh, I'm so sorry. Kevin. What website is that? Oh, you oh, put it on Pinterest. It's from Pinterest. Pinterest. Uh, yeah. It was in Iceland. So, well, leave it to nice. Iceland. Yeah. 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 They're, they're doing cool yeah. art there. What What is our Pinterest yeah. site? Uh, it's CAPS Committee. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. okay. I thought it was CAPS Superior or something. So CAPS Committee. No, Art and Superiors are, is the website. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, the 3D. I saw that the other day. But it's cool as they're walking it. Looks like yeah. It looks like it's moving. It looks yeah. like they're floating. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, so I think that's a great plan. Design something that's e relatively easy that we can get public works to take over because, as we all know, we oh almost God. expired on the that. That was hard. hard. <laughs> <laughs> it was like 100 degrees. <laughs> out there. Was was like, if we're going to do it, we start a whole lot earlier. <laughs> <laughs> locations that we're going to oh we're gonna yeah. um i don't think we want to settle on a number of locations i think uh, locations to be determined because then we can um we aren't limiting ourselves just to so plan and execute more crosswalks yeah yeah there you go. and then <laughs> yeah. but i do think we want to pinpoint certain Crosses. ones um you know more closer in front of the schools and things like that um and how you say we evaluate the effectiveness of the existing one so if we are going to try to ask the town to go mm -hmm. forward I thought well when we presented and Debbie and I were there they said how will we know that what we did <laughs> work actually we were like and we thought uh, well um, uh, yeah, let's, I not, didn't have let's not judge that so quickly yeah. I mean we really have so few out there right and yeah. that, it was a pilot okay. to, mm -hmm. for us to see if we could even do it Right. Yeah. And so we learned. We don't want to use rollers. We don't want our nose on the asphalt. There's we don't want to be a better way to do this. <laughs> you know, we should walk around. How are they wearing? Right? We've determined they, we need to make them appear more substantial exactly. by putting a background color in. We've, we've accomplished a lot. That's all the pilot needs. We don't have to sit here. Did the community really get safer from our <laughs> okay. little okay. yeah, like it's 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 I walk by them every mature. day. But do they make you smile? Yes. yes. Okay. And, and, and yes. on Facebook? Wasn't okay. that really the main yes. idea? Yes. <laughs> yes. And, and I posted on Facebook yes. and people loved it. So, so I think that, you know, it's sort of like going back it's, to it's, Dow. It's, it's hard to have add whimsy and the cool thing. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, I agree. Right. I just didn't what did we, really do we need to, like, document that just a tiny no. bit for the board? I'm trying mean, to get smiles. You could have quotes from people saying, I really like this. Well, Mark Laces gave you a big old... 
the, uh, and the only complaint I got was that unfortunately one of them got already destroyed because they redid concrete. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I that. Mm -hmm. It was okay. like a day yeah. after I, I drove yes. by there. Yes. 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 I walked it. Okay. Yeah. People love it. Okay. But anyways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then the next thing is explore potential partnership with Downtown Superior. Well, let's skip that part, but skip we want to plan yeah. the block party. Main event. Yeah. Main event, which yeah. we have in first quarter. I thought we are doing three main events. We are we doing are three main events, so we have to plan them and set dates. That's, that's, that's first in the quarter. first quarter. Well, that was, or so that we have to select, um, we have to do an R. I yeah, think I have the RFP we have the getting events. Right. Okay, so, it's so just we have it right now details. as one main event. Do you want to change it to three? We have three. Yeah. Plan for them, three. It definitely is three. That's main the first five in first quarter. Yeah. It's the main events. Just plan for the main, the three main events. So... Yeah, or, or we have three in total. Power oh, one Kevin, you already have it in the first quarter, number five. It just needs to be changed to three. Oh, but it, um, three rather than one. Yeah, plan for. Sorry, I forgot to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you have a good ring. So, do we add in um, so in the second that's quarter? That's going to come to second quarter. Yeah, although I think first quarter we want, we need to we set the figure out what we're, how, how, it, how it's all happening. I mean, Maybe we like solidify dates and details. We yeah. In the second quarter. Oh, solidify dates and details. And yeah. Location. Okay. There we go. Well, we should have locations. So. We'll yeah. plan in the first and solidify date and solidify in the dates second quarter. Dates. Dates what? It's in details. Details. Yeah. Mm. We'll so in what yeah. months do you it's want like, the three main events? Summerish. They're going to be in the summer. Yeah. Summer and fall, maybe. I think the fall because we like the idea of maybe getting more um, craft things because mm -hmm. it is the season in October. Yes. Yeah. So and then two summers. We had June tenth last time, wasn't it? June? Yeah. I hate that date actually. It's my really comment bad. was that we have to look at what I mean. I know we're not competing with them, but it will make an impact if we don't pay attention to the Louisville Street Fair. Right. Mm -hmm. And if we do it on dates that they don't have something going on. Right. Well, and it, well, we need to look at a calendar. I mean, that's why we need to plan for it. But we need to look at a calendar because the HOA has movie nights. There's a few things that are going on. So, I mean, that's part of the planning process for right. sure. Could right. be July, August, September. It could be mm -hmm. August, September, October. It could mm -hmm. be yeah, like that. You know, Carol, does he later. intend to have it yeah. always the same Post, place so that people are I, I think so in the marketplace. I think that that it's easy for people to find. I think the pop up events, the idea is that well, pop ups and those can be easier to plan for. Yeah, and the, you know, people will remember too. You yeah, know, each year it's there. Right, right. It is. And um, will it always be on Friday nights? Then? We don't, I, I think the um, night okay. is okay. to be determined too. Movie nights are um, Friday Fridays. nights. Friday yeah. nights. We so is the street fairs. Fairs. Street fairs are Friday nights. Okay. Um, although the Thursday night we went to the farmer's market in Lafayette and Thursday night was dead. Dead. Really? The farmer's market. Which is sad. Oh, okay. well, it might have just been that particular Thursday. Yeah, it, it could have been. Um, okay. Was there a lot of stuff? I mean, where was the? It was a, it, and the location's hard to find. It was off of mm. East Simpson. It was a little. So um, Saturday, maybe. Mm -hmm. What if a family wants to go do something on Saturday? Yeah, but I think that you know we can get calendars out and kind of oh, yeah. make that determination. Um, and we'll be first right. So we'll plan what the feel of it is. I mean, yeah, it could be a, a daytime um, feel as opposed to a nighttime destination. Mm -hmm. So we're not competing. What? So you think it it's would a be a daytime event? Maybe. Possibly. I mean, when we start looking at things and if we're going, at, like if we're not trying to compete with farmer's markets, if we do it later, we don't want to compete with street fair or movie night, you know, maybe we decide that it's kind of a, and we do have food trucks, like maybe we do a three to six. I mean, so I like the, you know, we need to get our calendars out and make it totally different. So we have... The other thing to think about is whether we want the event to be the same every time or if we want to do one yeah. Friday night from 5 to 8, one Saturday afternoon from 2 to 5, or do we want all of them to be, it's always Fridays at this time. I think we want the same in terms of continuity, yeah. but yeah, absolutely. We're going to have a lot of discussions. Yeah, we're talking theme. about different themes, Yeah, but it was going to try to be more evening-ish with music mm -hmm. and food. Yeah, I think you, if you incorporate the food and the music, 
that community hangout thing because one of the downsides of the block parties, we did it from whatever it was, three to five or something. Mm -hmm. And it was almost kind of like a dash and dash out. You didn't mm -hmm. really feel like it was a sense of community. Whereas if you're sitting, hanging out, listening right. to music. You want something where you're gonna land for it. You're gonna land yeah. for a while. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's just, if, we're, if we're doing it in Superior Marketplace and we're trying to um, capture the traffic, right? Mm -hmm. So when is the peak time for that? Right. We're trying so, to augment the traffic too. Right. So that might make it a little earlier. Like when are the, you know, four to seven is going to get some of those shoppers who might stick around, and then so yeah. we have a lot of we have a lot. And if it's tall, you, you don't want to go too late because it gets dark. It gets dark. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, at different times. Is, did we? I mean, well, that's what the it, times or no? Well, that's yeah. what we're talking about okay. whether or not. But I think yeah. that's all part of the planning. Yeah. Okay. So right. In order to get the yeah. yeah. expand yeah. better. The um, just to recap, the uh, Superior Marketplace uh, guy, Bricksmore guy, mm -hmm. who was enthusiastic about, and they've named that contact person now. Uh, it was a, a t town board email I got. So their their uh, person from Bricksmore who is assigned. That to job. That so place. we could invite, I think it's a man here. Uh, he, I think I'm supposed to come to town once a quarter, if I recall correctly. But they were very enthusiastic about this. And I use, I said farmer's market. And he goes, really not that interested in a farmer's market necessarily, but more of a um, art, art. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're not uh, yeah, we that kind of thing. Yeah, that's good. Uh, even crafts or just artisan, you know. Yeah. Well, and getting that them here great. sooner rather than later mm -hmm. so we get their input on location and things like that as so, well. Um, so that's absolutely. great. Absolutely. Yeah. So who's in charge of that? So I in will, uh, well, in addition to Element cool. Hotel, I'll, uh, You're going to reach out to the Bricksmore guy? Right? No, no, no. Oh. I'll talk to Matt about the Bricksmore guy and his availability. Okay. Okay. So now we're in three second quarter. Three, um, yeah, prepared 2019 budget request for, for professional facilitation. We already did that. We still have We did that. We're and now we to but I do think we need to go um, and. So the pop up activities, just a reminder uh, paint a prairie dog the utility box covers, and the lime dance musical experience are our three pop-ups. So, um, Don't we need to make it 2020? No, because we aren't gonna get a facilitator for that. We, okay. It's, it's planned and budgeted, and that's what we'll be doing. Oh, so this is what I was thinking of. Never mind. Oh, thank you. Got it. Did we dip in the 2020 budget request at that time? Not for this particular, not for this thing, though. Not for the cultural arts and public spaces master plan because right. that's already been done. So we can. That's what I see. What you're talking about is in the fourth quarter. That's the mistake. I oh, the work plan. plan. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's what we're doing right now. Yes. Okay. Yes, we're, we're reviewing and developing work plan for 2019. We're three days early. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yay. Um, Never okay. really. Okay, but we do need to prepare and plan for our pop-up activities. Um, when are we doing that? Second quarter? Yeah. Okay. And grand opening for... Our oh, and we also need to do yeah, a grand yeah. opening yeah. for DAOs. Um, exactly. Yeah. So there's yeah, three the things. Got things. Yeah. So the reality is there's three things that are happening with Dow: the two programs and uh, the grand unveiling. Are we going to get a big sheet? Oh, oh absolutely. We need to have a. He'll pay big sheet. Yeah, really big sheet. A parachute. A parachute. A parachute. One of those balloons that we're supposed to come down. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're going to really need a staff person to help us pull off that part. Well, right. Exactly. So, I mean, well, Karen, Karen, were you, were we talking about uh, where we were going to try to work for some sort of an update cocktail party or, yes. or an update? Yeah, and that's, 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 for, part of, that's on our agenda further okay. down, so okay. we can come back to All that. Right. Um, I'd like to keep moving. So, so I think for second quarter, number three is um, uh, plan pop-ups. And then people can decide uh, who would like to take charge of what. I know you want to do utility boxes. You know I do. I know. <laughs> okay, who's doing the prairie dogs? 
The, the pop-up? I was gonna, no, I was gonna say, what is it, the 3D printer that costs $6,000? I want that printer. <laughs> <laughs> it would cut our, per well, actually, so here's the thing. I will go and find out. I, I um, at one of the Lafayette events that I went to, there was a gentleman that has a business that does 3D laser cutting. We can go find out what it would cost us to get a hundred, you know, or however many prairie dogs prairie dog so cut out. That are like and if the three D printer actually costs yeah. less mm -hmm. than that, then we ought to consider writing a grant and trying to get oh. the money. Um, I think that yeah. for it that way. Because then we would have it for other things, and it wouldn't be, you know, a, an expense. But do you company. really want to sit here and have this group fabricate a hundred? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I would. She's very creative. Yeah. Um, I'm like, you would uh, want to? Well, I'm thinking, um, can we make these out of, like, compostable materials or something? Because then what do we do with a hundred prairie dogs after? I don't know. We sell them. They they rattle rattle we auction them off. Oh, they, 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 they never go charity. away. If they're well done, they <laughs> yeah. just we know right? that their dogs never go away. <laughs> <laughs> if you move them, they come back. That's what's so wonderful. Well, sometimes, sometimes we send them to businesses or individuals, so it's also a fundraiser. It's also a fundraiser. It can be. Yeah. Well, that's what they do. I think you could auction them off if you. I mean, if you. I think it would be wonderful. People become very invested. Invested in that, and that would be one of our um, main events. We'd have the prairie oh, dog auction. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'd have, oh, we'd oh, have oh, a prairie dog auction. And that is our main event. And that is our main event. And people will get into it. It will pay for the printer. There you go. Yeah, I agree. It would be the theme. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> pay for the printer. <laughs> yeah. Pay for the prairie dog printer. <laughs> I think next summer it will be whatever. Well, or even doing the auction for a charity could get a lot of interest mm -hmm. as well, particularly if you tell people you're painting it to be auctioned off for a charity. Bill, that's a really, yeah. Absolutely. That's, then it becomes, mm -hmm. so yeah. if we're going to do the cultural arts district, that money goes into the cultural arts district, which is kind of like our non for profit Yeah, it is like a non for profit And it's become an annual experience. Going because right. this year right. there's a hey, are you going to do the prairie dogs? Yeah. And, and I think it's a really fun idea to bounce forward. Yeah, there's there's lots of potential with the prairie dogs. Somebody mentioned uh, mile markers out on some of the trails. You know, I mean, that I know would be so cute. Prairie dog like holding a sign. It's so much work. It's so much work, but the and we're doing a master plan. Oh, no, I'm so proud of And we're doing a continuation of all Well, that's why I think the staff person needs to be really involved in this as part of it because, you know, we've so far. I'm happy to meet with them. But that's a really good way. I mean, we all are like, let's get together and make the show, but I think it's everywhere. You probably have seen it. First hand, we coordinate and, 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 and yeah, we can do, okay, especially all that painting and stuff. Okay, third <laughs> quarter, which essentially is. It's number four, correct here. Grand unveiling of Dad's work. Yes. Mm -hmm. Great job. Kevin, yeah, you can okay. type okay. that right there at Wildflower Park. Oh, no. <laughs> Where are you having the line dancing? Oh, the line oh. dancing. Oh, okay. I thought you meant the grand. No, I am like, why are we in the alien flower park? That's what I've been pushing. Where we need a big event on the green at Wildflower Park. Why do we have it? I think, I think, yeah, we do. Page and who 
whoever. Jeff and Paige. Jeff I think an experience that there is a great idea. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm excited. At Wildflower? Yeah. yeah. Do we all agree? Can what are we doing again? at Wildflower? What are we doing? Oh, we're going to do a play. That'd be great. Yeah. Like um, Kevin, type it in just, just to be honored. They can always take it out. <laughs> <laughs> but with that nice gazebo. Oh, that's why I can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it makes cool. sense. Yeah. I think it's, I mean, if we put it down, then, you know, if we build it, they will come. <laughs> um, okay, third quarter, monitor progress the McCaslin roundabout done. Um, yeah. I don't know what. So third quarter will be some of those events. It will be. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. That'll be July, <laughs> August, September. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. So it's really like execute. Executing. Execute. Yes. When are we going to execute the project? Test period. Execute. What execute did you put on period. the period? Yeah. Quarter. Well, I asked all that, and you didn't like the June 10th. Yeah. Oh, I, the June 10th is really hard. Yeah, I forget yeah, why, but it, it always conflicts July, with June, tons of August, stuff. August, yeah. yeah, I like pushing it out. Yeah. August and October, I like. Is June a good? No, the schools will get out here at the end of May, right? That's right. July, so July, on vacation. August, September, October. Mid June. So August, September, September, August, September, oh. October. Yeah. And that's less. You so you're not competing with farmers market, which we're not doing. You're not expecting farmers market. You're July. There's already the four. Right. Yeah. But so, you've made them all. Fall. And then it's more crafty. Well, August is still summer. Is summer. Essentially. Oh, still summer. I mean, early September. September. Still early September. 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 It was I mean, June. Ninety degrees. June. June. August. Yeah. Every parent is at Target buying school supplies. So if we. Yeah. So if I mean, they plan it for that Friday before school, it'll be very successful. Yeah, but I still think you want something that's community. If you think about Superior, they don't even start movie nights until, like, what, the third week in June, maybe, or something? Sounds right. And then you have the July 4th. You almost kind of need something earlier on to get the pace going, you mean? To kind of get the tone. And I, I, do think I, I would the, hate to wait for August. I do think that the professional that we She'll have an idea. Will help us to really hone in on mm -hmm. what the best, you know, and that's why the sooner we get somebody. But I do think better. there's a reason why most communities have summer events. Right. You know? Well, and that could be, rather than the main event, that could be the line dancing happens in June. Yeah, we Maybe. could do the line dancing, and that would, that's actually and it's, a good yeah, idea. Yeah, when it's not too hot. Well, that And it stays light late. Yeah, it stays light late. pop-up main event. You could, I mean, the line dancing essentially could be in a main event as well, but I do like, I mean, then it removes it from being a wildflower park. Yeah. Wild park. Yeah, and it's not considered a park. And line dancing will be fun on asphalt, you know, um, rather than grass, too. Yeah. Although intrepid line dancers will dance anywhere. <laughs> but there's no reason not to, at a main event, have one of the musical events be a. Yeah. Um, a dance, you know, somebody that's calling us dancing with a square dance. Right, right. I actually think dancing is a very interesting addition because mm -hmm. it's peripheral to most musical events. So why not raise it into on the main stage mm -hmm. and actually call it a dance event? Mm -hmm. Do we have a main stage somewhere? No, I meant. That's the main event we can have. <laughs> like well, I missed that we have a main stage. Well, you can make it a main feature. That's a really you could get some of the dance schools in the area yeah. to join in as well, like the new one opening. Right, there is a new dance it. studio, and they could do like an opening thing at the well, line dance. That's a yeah. Yeah. Well, because then also once you have the kids involved, then all the parents come. Yeah, that's right. Then it becomes a competition. So what I think we ought to do is just move through this. I mean, it's it's a living document and we can discuss more in depth. Otherwise, I don't think we're going to have time to but get through our agenda. Yeah. It's approved by the board in January. Uh, oh, I understand, but it's it's yeah. more of a, I mean, I think yeah. let's move you, through we so don't we have to do everything get to agenda time. items. What so we'll execute in third quarter. quarter. Um, per perfect. Fourth quarter. Um, Congratulate ourselves and drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, six, seven. Um, 
zoning project, a big project. Yeah, the third quarter will be well, doing the following year master plan. <laughs> right, and I went to the um, historic commission and they're very interested in doing things with us, especially once the um, cemetery comes back online and right. things like that. So there's a lot of, okay. there's a lot of stuff going on. So I think let's cross off number one, the cross-cultural. Um, I love the town holiday event, by the way. Actually, I'm not saying we're not doing oh, it. That's okay. a town event. That's not ours. I mean, that's what we. What is it? The Count the Lights. It's at Asti Park, the which is right. Lighting of the Christmas. The okay. lighting of the Christmas tree and the fire. I mean, I would, I would love to, but I think our plate is pretty full. Our plate is full. Yeah. And it would be cool to do the, like the lanterns, lanterns, you know. Yeah, yeah when yeah, we talked the, about that. that we yeah. talked about that last year, but let the teens. Do I mean, where the, where the, you float them up. Yeah. Or, or you walk with, I think you can't do oh. it, flying lanterns, it just mm -hmm. doesn't. I was going to look into how Lafayette did that. They didn't, they didn't the let them go, they like walked with does them. does the, the snacks at the Count the Lions. Yeah, I think that that's, I mean. Yeah, I don't think. Okay, I think we should leave it as is. Is that happening this year or we're just taking it off for next year? Um, adding a cross-cultural event to it, mm -hmm. I think we're just taking it off for, because our plate's pretty full. Okay. Um, it's not that we can't revisit and come back to. Sure. Um, yeah. But I think that exploring options and maybe discussion of how, you know, how our pop-ups went and are we, you know, are they continuing Continue. programs? We want to come up with new ones. Um, could one be an yeah, educational? Could right. one be, mm -hmm. could one pop-up be an educational event? Yeah, so I think, um, explore options and discuss and review. Um, are we abandoning murals going forward? Um, I don't know, it's... Why? When's it well, I don't know, I just thought on the work plan. What, oh. what is it, oh, yeah. wasn't it November? Isn't that the target date? Yeah, and um, so Katie is working with uh, Public Works to build the framework and I'm gonna meet with her next week and get a real rundown because it's the only, I mean, I have no idea what the frame looks like, what we're going to put them up on the wall with, and Well, Mike said you, you, he touched base and you to get the squares to paint them. I have those. Oh, okay, so. I have all, I have so almost everything is in, either in my garage or in my yard or somewhere, okay. or in a shed somewhere around here. Let me make a note so you, he can. But that's yeah. different from the framework and yeah. actually yeah. putting up the 160 tiles and making sure that they're sealed. Appropriate. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. I just have one more question. Weather is, it's going to happen no matter what the weather situation is in November, and that's, they're sealed appropriately, I guess? They'll be sealed for outdoors, yeah. Okay. Yep. I mean, the idea is it's not permanent, so. Yeah, no, it's, um, okay. It is a. It's sealed on the face, but because they're on plywood. So yeah, the I know. moisture gets behind Oh, no, they would be, warm. I think you, um, again, I don't know. I. I haven't done it. It was Kate, yeah. Katie, um, but I assume you would seal all edges and all front and back. And we, are we going to seal it? I don't I know unless we can get public works to do it. I think that's a little bit. I personally feel that maybe beyond our um, job description, <laughs> <laughs> given the different. I mean, I just think. I don't know. I, I can find out what that. the plan yeah. is for sealing. Okay, okay. Let, let me know. I, I know that. Part of the problem with the white, we sealed all sides of the white boards, thinking that would be one extra level of protection. So we can there do that with those. There must be a way that yeah. is, you know, like we just have to the find ground out. And, yeah. <laughs> and then glue those suckers up. Yeah. 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 But so we don't need on our work agenda for next year anything to do with murals. So um, Katie's friend could probably tell us how that one was all done. Yeah, and I think she's got that in her head. I just mm -hmm. have to get it out of her head and, and put it down so we know what to yeah. do. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so the la I think the ongoing stuff. It's all was the Superior Artist Registry already established? Do we need to change no, that? No, it needs to. It's okay. um, it's a, so we can leave that as a that's, the, the website is up, and I've been exploring um, plugins, but I haven't had great success, nor have I had a lot of time to look at it. So, so again, that is a, yeah. Well, Marcia, but she doesn't 
I have to sit down and meet with her. Yeah. So, Daryl, again, on that particular one, we've got some sort of web talent in town. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a budget. We have some some budget yeah. money. So, to again, to that. we can figure out how to get the names, and then some pro support can figure out the whole method to get them in a system. Right. So, I mean, that was the idea behind getting a little bit of money for right. it. So and yeah. here's the thing is Parks and Rec, Kevin, you can help on this. Parks and Rec puts, spends a lot of money on those great postcards before Chili Fest, before Fourth of July and whatnot. And if we communicate, coordinate with them, possibly we can have a call out on that. If you're an artist, please right. sign up in the in the town newsletter too. Mm -hmm. Superior Central. Can they sign up online? Is there a way for them well, to plug in? Well, that is what she's And so it's on the website, right. and the post people yeah. will follow. So this is that. this. I think we've made it a little difficult. So let's use every town communication. Mm -hmm. I'll try and write up for something. Yeah, I've I've talked to her. And then even Heather's chamber thing. She's got as many app. members yeah. in Louisville. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And do we care if they're in Louisville? Can't we have Louisville? There was some discussion about them um, being only superior, but the problem, I think one of the fundamental problems is we all have the same zip code, and so oh. I don't know that we can really distinguish, or if it really but matters. Do we want to do? I don't we, know that it really... We can have them put their address in, or their town, yeah. or whatever, and sort by whatever we want to sort yeah. by. But why would it matter, really? I, mean, I don't get it. it. The, I mean, is that... Just because you want, we want to, you know, note ourselves. Or well, I want to know who they are. I mean, I think it's important to know who the yeah. artisans in Superior are. Exactly. Um, and but I think artists it's, is really loosely defined: musicians, writers, right. uh, painters, sculptors, storytellers, storytellers, actors, and, 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 and craft too. Because I think craft, craft is a huge. The whole um, quilters. 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 Exactly. <laughs> the list could have two designations, so maybe it's a list of everybody who's submitted with an asterisk that says superior well, resident. Yeah, there could be a way to, yeah. and, and again, that ha just has to be, you know, time and energy. Has so to the $500 in the budget to go towards the artist registry, if the town, so we have the website Art in Superior, which is really cool, it, can the town person do what needs to be done so you don't have to do it sure. and it then it's free do we have to pay i don't know if we i mean part of it is it has to be developed it's it's a it's either a plug-in or something that has to be oh it, so and the town can't do it's that it's not that we just sign up and it magically appears on the website somebody has to code it or it has to be an existing uh, we've already got those experts they code the rest of the website so why can't we, um, for example? Oh, well, the town website, I think it, so it, it, it's more complicated than yeah. that. But, but I mean, I'm happy, I'm happy to help with it and not spend the money then, if that's. Uncode it, you mean? Yeah. Create the website. <laughs> I'm still on Prairie Dogs and next year. So whatever this the thing is that you have to do. We have so much to yeah. do. We've yeah. got to be the creative force. Right. And, and learn, how, we to do learn how to delegate the actual tasks. Yes. Right. Right. That's really true. So, uh, so let's keep it on there, and then let's um, call this a work in progress. We'll email it around, and people can take a look at it and decide um, if we've missed something, if they've thought of additional things. Um, and it's interesting. And mural isn't even on this the 2018. Well, and or maybe we're not doing murals. It's just like if we're. I thought it was. I always thought it was part of our work. I always thought we were always doing murals. But maybe it's just Another an event. Maybe it could be ongoing with the place making different options. Right. You know, have options. Oh, you I have see. Time. Or if you have with Ryan no, I mean, I think that's very important. Just as an ongoing yeah. and vague. Yeah. 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 I know. I, I, I agree with that. I think we'd put the mural up this November. We let murals rest for 2019. And then we can come back and visit. We've done way too many other things to do another mural. Yeah, I agree. Option might okay. be to do an RFP to have honest to God muralists come. Oh, absolutely! I mean, that could be that could be part of a main event. Actually, mm -hmm. we could have a mural yeah, artist, cool. you know, create a mural for oh, us. Oh, that would be cool. During a main event. I decided I didn't
at my house on the side of my garage. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So you could do that. Could do that in Rock Creek. Can you see each garage? Yes. Well, there are in Louisville, no Lafayette. They have an alley project. So you go up an alley, and if they didn't have a a building or something, they created a little framework that was. A mural was created on, <laughs> um, and I still think the backside of this um, old uh, fire station is begging for something. Where's the, just the one up here on Cole Creek. You know, when you just go up Cole Creek, oh. there's a little. Oh yeah. Around the back, there used to be the uh, recycling center, and so okay. there's a concrete pad and then a blank wall. That would be perfect. That is begging for art. But, okay, so let's move on to the RP for art master plan. Um, so Kevin did bring up, um, he found the, we've seen, a lot of us have seen it, the cultural arts master plan for Louisville. Um, but really what we need to start talking about is the RFP, which I think this, it's this document. Thing. Well, this okay. is just sort of the pre, like this I think is the research. Is the research to think about what we want to put into the RFP to um, then go after the consultants. Okay. So, um, but we don't have actual RFPs to look at. We just Isn't have that gonna be master plan. Like, can we get those bills actual art to do that? We're hoping yeah. to. Katie RFP. was hoping to do that. She um, was going to talk. I, um, Kate. Is another Katie over there? Who's the woman in Lafayette is really good too? Uh, How about Broomfield too? Uh, long longer. Longer. Oh, um Yeah, because she's really yeah. good. And she's, I think, much more receptive. Than the woman from Louisville. Louisville, yeah. And the woman that used to be in Louisville that is now up in Loveland, Katie knows and was going to okay. talk to her as well. So um, we don't really have any uh, plans to look at other than actual master plans, and that doesn't seem like a productive use of time right now. I mean, we all can look at them online, and I think... You know, reading through this document and figuring out um, what's pertinent to us, not just art-wise, but I think we want to personally expand to include our museum, our, our um, historic component, the cultural... Um, wait, you, wait, museum, what else? Museum and library. Okay. Historical? Yeah, and the Historic Commission. I mean, I think those are all sort of... Okay. Well, and integrating uh, standards into redevelopment projects for um, the redevelopment of Superior Marketplace, so however you do that. Oh, is that going to be Oh, yeah. okay. That's nine standards, but I forgot how they phrased it in here, but basically being part of redevelopment decisions, not just place making. Right. Yeah. As a vacation is to marketplace. Yeah. I forgot how to see any of that. I wrote down all of the bullets that all of them had in common. The nine things that the public art which include the twelve that they all had in common. Well that oh integration through planning. I think okay. it was that. Okay. So okay. yeah. It was on here? Did, are these notes that you took from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, that was like right. Uh, yeah, the, the integration. The yeah. So four the components. Yeah, the yeah. integration of yeah. art standards through the planning process, mm -hmm. which is um, very salient now with yes. the Northwest sub area being discussed. Well, and I think we want to um, do an overlay too and think about downtown Superior. And I know it's not technically Superior land, but it will be. And I think that we want to. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that was where the the um, the Austin one that was all about environmental, and it was all site based and how because if you've ever been to Austin, it's all you know the walks and it's all iron. The art is environmental and how you exist in the town. And that's why the next I think our next big yeah, art because ours Austin was in here right should be something that people can hang out on and around. You know, mm -hmm. not just something that you drive around, but something that you actually integrate mm -hmm. in and, you know, hang out in. Yeah. yeah. Well, and that's part of that, um, the Superior Shores, we were talking with them about not just a, a swing and a slide, but actually having art that's integrated that is part of a playground yeah. piece. Yeah. 
and they were pretty open to that. It's, I was just on Pearl Street Mall last Sunday, and there's uh, brass or bronze, whatever figures you can crawl on. Mm -hmm. Kids yeah. mm -hmm. love that. I mean, it's such a simple concept. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but those They're are the things that, home. like, down the creek, you know, I know that yeah. they have a plan for that, but I'd still like to come right. back around and add some components of Right, and it's yeah. yeah. along the yeah. creek. Yeah. 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 park. Along the park. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Temple in Bali, but and there was a big when fish. When I did Temple Park, was like, you know, 12 feet long, and the kids were climbing on it. Oh, cool. Install some artwork that people can crawl on and in. Yeah. Well, actually, a great potential is Riverbend. So um, Ken has been, uh, Ken who was here earlier, had been talking about some kind of playground or some structure there because there isn't anything in that neighborhood. Sure. And Are we going to do it near the park? But, I mean, near well, the lake? we don't know. So part of what his, the concern from uh, people that put in playground equipment is it's too close to the lake. But what if it's mm. something different, that it's a climb audible or some kind of sculpture or some more natural thing up there versus your post and platform usual, <coughs> you know, boring plastic stuff, that it's different and... Um, that's so that's a potential place for... Well, somebody had the idea around um, um, Coal Creek Town Center, um, just putting easels up. And I, you can see concrete mm -hmm. easels intended for you to yep. bring your thing in paints and oh my paint gosh. there. You know? So... Yeah, it's, a, it's just called the cost of concrete yeah. really in a form. Right. So. So, some, something that doesn't uh, blow over it and break apart with these pins. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, to actually, and then that invites you to bring your canvas and your paints. Yeah. And, and, and actually. When do they start the creek work? They're, they've done part of the creek work already. I mean, they cut the trees down. They, there's signs <laughs> that say it's coming soon, but you know. Yeah. Oh, so it's not coming soon? I don't know. Right. It's on a schedule. I don't know what it is. <laughs> don't know. Okay, so does anyone um, have anything else they want to add on the RFP for the Art Master Plan? I think for the next meeting we'll have... Um, should we meet sample. between now and the next meeting, or should we bring it up when we meet in our in-between meeting? We can bring it um, Yeah, we can bring it up at our in-between in, meeting. At the Whole Foods one? I mean, I think it would be good to have okay. documents to look at. Yeah. Um, what is the date? What is the date for in between? It's two weeks. Two, 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 two weeks. The eleventh okay. of October. Is it a Thursday? Yes. Can you October eleventh. Well, I, I will be. Able Oops. To. Okay. I won't be there. <coughs> Our master note taker will. If we do it on the tenth, I can be there. Um, I can send out a doodle and see if that works because it's an unscheduled. But then once we know that the Kevin will have to. Somebody yeah, must next month. Oh, yeah, okay. the 10th is easy. It has to be 24 hours later. Yeah. Okay. 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 And by that time, we will have copies of our and these from other communities so we can like this kind of thing. Well, we, have, we have October oh, we have October night too. Like that. Okay. It's chamber one. Oh, okay. So okay, we can just talk about later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, on to subcommittee updates on projects. So well, yeah. murals. October 9th, October 14th. Um, Mike will come get the boards. October 9th is where? October is 9th. They're both at the sports stable. Yeah. Um, Time. Mix. The murals and mingles, I think, starts at five, five to third, seven. Five to seven. Thank you. And that is what we're responsible for is to bring in everything. Sort that of like we did at the um, at the Girl Scouts, which worked extremely well. I don't know mm -hmm. if you guys talked about it, but no. it was easy as pie. I mean because we had everything in one place, and thanks to the troop leader, <laughs> we had every girl sitting, and we put, you know, they were very cooperative, and I think. I think it worked. Hopefully, that, that works. Same with the Boy Scouts. Yeah. Did the kids yeah. like it? Yeah, they did. Oh, they, did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. they were very. I mean, they stayed <laughs> quite good. It, it, it took them all about thirty minutes each. It wasn't a huge deal. So you'll have to compare them to the Boy Scouts. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, let's see. <laughs> that, the, the Boy Scout troop is huge. We only had ten girls. There's a lot of people. Well, well, we've, we've, we've limited to yeah. We've limited oh, yeah. it to thirty. And that's 30. the fourteenth. And what are the times on that? It's one o'clock. And so the so one to three so we we probably want volunteers for the first there's going to be two segments of right. fifteen and fifteen 
So we need volunteers for both, for the one o'clock shift and the three o'clock yeah. shift. Or the two o'clock shift. Well, really, 12, 12, oh, 12 30 and two. 12 30 and yeah. two. Yeah. 12 30 shift yeah. and a two shift. And okay. Jane looked at the um, squares and set them up at tables with the same color, which actually worked really well, too. Yeah. So, so, so some of our plans that we've always been talking about really like got to. Got, it. And the kids were very good. The small, I mean, about blending and it just was a much more controlled. Now that was first class. Yeah, yeah. It's like little what we know girls in a different yeah. nine year old yeah. girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big demographic. Yeah. Yeah. I tell my boy scouts how well the girl scouts oh, yeah. do in a competition. <laughs> yeah. They will be good. <laughs> My three young boys. That we don't want to go to. There were some boys at the Fourth of July. There was one young boy. Said, this is the best thing I've ever oh, done. Oh, that was so. Yeah. That's good. Oh, yeah. Like boys. Yeah, they're they were very yeah. good. Absolutely. And we are making a choice. Okay. Yeah. Which, yeah, which okay. So do not have Kool Aid. Debbie, oh, no. no, no Kool Aid, no nothing. No, <laughs> no sugar. sugar. <laughs> no. Although you did feed them they donuts. Had they had time. cookies and grapes. I'm just guessing yeah. the Boy Scouts have some kind of food and drink. Yeah, they do. I should have asked that though. <laughs> so cheese. Um, yeah. Debbie, yes. will you send out an email? Cheese and drinks. Plenty of volunteers. volunteers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and when you meet to look at the stuff, let me know. You know, when you go over and say, "How are we gonna? How? What's the frame look like?" This kind of stuff. Okay. Because Mike can help with that too. Um, I love how you volunteer, Mike. <laughs> He's um, retired. He needs something. Okay. Other subcommittees are blanking on uh, what all they are right now, but um, does anyone have anything to report? Oh, you do. Do you have? I do. Well, <laughs> I don't know if you have something to report, but you are on a subcommittee. Well, yeah, you're doing the, you and Jane are doing the whole January for There's nothing to, to report if I don't have a date. <laughs> and, yeah. and I don't have a plate. Yeah, all of that is, is very fabulous. <laughs> we report. just moved it. I need help. I need help. <laughs> I need help. Yeah. That's my report. We were thinking the Renaissance flats. Oh, yes. Kind of bar yes. area. Definitely. Area. Yes. That's so what we're going to do. So we need for I should call down. Well, so she, one, that was, right? oh, Daryl was going to find uh, out when he was yeah, available. Yeah, yeah. I do think we should skip it. I think we should start getting, I think we should start figuring out what it, what it would mean and then give him some guidance. Who wants to reach out to Dow then? Is that something that... Well, I, we, we'll go through staff and figure out how to manage that going yeah. forward. And then we should probably be I guess give him two dates. Yeah, then three two dates two. in January and see what works best for mm him. -hmm. But we also want to see if the place is available and what right. it costs and things like that. Because... So we need to, yeah, we just yeah. need to. And we can work with the chamber on that in terms of setting it up and planning it. Um, that's a possibility, because then they have a captive audience, for sure. We would know yes. that they would oh. be involved. Oh, for the know. art. Oh, that's it. the art of the yeah. chamber. Yeah. When does this hotel open? open? What? I'm oh, sorry. Next yeah. spring, I think. No, what was your question? When does this hotel, when does Elements open? It's. End of the year, but they don't look like they're anywhere close. Oh, to it says spring. spring in I thought it was the spring. I the thought so, but I might have you know, so, Yeah, the so lobby at the Renaissance nice. is definitely that. kind of yeah. an ambiance for yeah. the artist and yeah, the wine and cheese. Yeah. And, and we're expecting him yeah. to do some kind of short talk or presentation, mm -hmm. right? It's not so just. We'll, yeah. Mix we'll have to pay for the hors d'oeuvres and so forth at that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. And getting him out, the town will bring him out, right? Is that. And all of that. Hey, right. Daryl, on the Dow thing, uh, let's make sure to peg a day for trip. For oh trip. no, to go and see the progress. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I am anxious yeah. to go. Yeah. So um, maybe maybe we even make a call to find out what. Yeah. So that was that in the calendar. Yeah. You'd probably want to go. That's a good idea. I wonder. Yeah. I mean, what is this? It's you guys would probably want to get there. I don't know. Before the time he comes out. To see the progress? Oh, I think we want it. We no, the plan is for here. October. Oh, oh like, yeah, I thought you guys were going to be next week. Oh yeah, you yeah. and Katie were going. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. he's working on the oh, form great. and like starting to put rings together, from what I understand. We're so hoping. we want to go. Yeah, we're hoping. I <laughs> think mean, that's. Right. Yeah, hopefully well, that would be. Otherwise, your legs are going to heal. Some rings to share. Why don't we paint a crosswalk? Can you see the kids? Right. Yeah. Well, and also it'd be fun to do, and I want—I think I want to try and do it when we put up the mural—is a time lapse video 
Oh, that'd be really cool. The, you know, yeah. and it would be fun when we're at his studio to see if we oh, could do completely. some kind of a time lapse. Was, yeah. Video oh, that, that would be cool to meet the artist night and some kind of a TV mm -hmm. screen that was doing it. That'd yeah. Be cool. yeah. Yeah, to see the evolution of it. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think it'd be great. Just a whole series of all the pictures that he was taking all along. That'd be cool. Um, okay, does any other subcommittee have an update on existing projects? You, you're going to find out about flats? Or yeah, okay. but did you guys go on your little tour? For oh, yeah, we did go on a tour. Because yes. I did a little walking tour myself, but I didn't because I couldn't come with you guys. Okay, and what did you think? I thought that place, Sycamore, what was that street? That was in between the, the two grass. buildings is too small. Hmm. Oh, you mean Center Drive? Yes. Where the minor statue is. I thought the space between the two buildings is where I walked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was too small. What if you close off the street? The street. So the They're street. Extending down the middle. Down can the you, middle. Okay. Can we call so it Center uh, Drive from the uh, market we have the roundabout um, food trucks can we get the and, internet? Yeah. and right. artists. Okay. Booths. That would have, yeah. I think that, it, did you yeah. guys like it? Like well, I think what we envisioned was it would be closed off part of the street so that you have the asphalt, which is flat for any vendors and artists, and then you have food trucks blocking off the other two sides, so you can't Going connect to Target Costco, or Costco over to Target, oh. and then you have a stage on that strip, yeah, mm -hmm. and then so like people can take their food, like TJ Maxx area. and then sit in the grass yeah. in front of the stage. Oh, which okay. would be at the way west end. Right, yeah. which would be on the far end, so okay. you, we kind of have all of the Yep, pieces. exactly. So the idea well, we looked at from the grass, mm -hmm. we looked at the plaza, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and then, then we looked turn around. going left. So why don't you stand up? And yeah. So there. So the idea would be. Um, Ooh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so if you block right here, then cars can still come in and get around in this and navigate around the marketplace. So then this street can be blocked off. Food trucks right here to stop traffic going. Um, vendors. And artisans down here, a stage here, and then people hanging oh, out. Sitting. Oh, oh, that's good. Stage okay. The other end. Or stage here. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Stage, stage here. Stage is facing yeah, that yeah. way. Right. And then the other area, Kevin, if you can go down, scroll down yep. a little bit to um, right there. Right here. Um, there's a big, cute little um, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. A little sculpture here, and then this little plaza area, and then this. Um, that area could get blocked off and food trucks and vendors mm -hmm. in that area. Um, we were concerned, though, about people, kids crossing, crossing that street. Yeah. Yeah. The, when you're standing here, you see the park, and the way parents are, they aren't necessarily paying attention to their kids. Right. And so it would be really nerve-wracking if we didn't shut down Sycamore to have them seeing this area and not being able to safely get across. The people haul down that street. Yeah, and is it. there, if we did it on Sycamore, is there another way for people to get out of the neighborhood? No. no. Well, you'd have to go up Coal Creek Drive. Um, okay. And or, the other, so, or way over on the other side of uh, 76. So here, yeah. Yeah. the only way yeah, to get road. up into the neighborhood. Or to Marshall. Like, I mean, are you talking about getting out of, of Coal Creek Drive? Well, yeah, in or out. You live <coughs> in this area and you wanted to go home and that street was shut off, you yeah. go this way. Right. Yeah, and it wouldn't be blocked. You'd go Fourth Ave home to your yeah. 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 Well, and then we did look, The third one was right in front of if for whatever. Oh yeah. This one. Um, oh no, the sheriff um, station. Uh, sheriff station. Scroll, yeah. Uh, where they're doing Ethan Allen. Oh. oh. Yeah. yeah. Where is Ethan? Way Allen? over there, but it might right be right there. Right here. Why would oh, we do there? Okay. So. That's a big parking lot. Where are you thinking it would? Well, we looked at it that night. That was not our top choice, obviously. Okay. Yeah. It was mostly asphalt. Yeah. It's mostly asphalt. It's so far away. Um, yeah, no, actually, I, I like the, the way that you had it framed up um, using that book on, space. On yeah. Central Drive? Yeah, yeah, I do like it. Yeah, I do, yeah. I think it's, it has a nice form. I mean, and, and if you don't have very many vendors, you just stop to here, and there's just open play area where you're you know, whatever, and if the music's here, then this is open for hanging out. Mm -hmm. So for vendors, you're thinking craft people and arts people, not mm -hmm. like not yeah, businesses. businesses. No.
Not measures like it should be passed, but I think it, it should be truly artisans from a strategy of business. Yeah. And the food trucks would be down by the, the in, near the uh, so food trucks. Right here, oh, okay. right here okay. is a potential, you know, an idea. Again, the event center could really help. Yeah. Out. And I think walking through with first work and all this. <laughs> the things that don't exist that we could easily find, so there's no restrooms, so we have to get restrooms, mm -hmm. and no power. But Chili Fest has no power, they bring a generator in. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think and there are obstacles. Plenty of room back there, there for the porta potties. For the porta potties. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Did you tell me, girl, something about um, if people were to go to the south of the green area, this, like, forbidden or something? Uh uh. Okay. Yeah. There's, a, there's a loading dock in the area. made the expression that they couldn't walk down because there's that whole green area there. Oh, no, no, no. It's just a loading dock area, oh, but okay. it's not very, it's, not there's no country. trucks that come in and out okay. in the evening. They do early morning drop offs. Because if it got really busy, back to your concern, you probably could even have your picnics kind of to the south of where that is. Mm -hmm. it's a little, I do think it's a little awkward, though. Why? Yeah. green. What, that the space is awkward? Yeah, the side over here slopes down. This side slopes down. So that would be hard to sit on. But also I think it's a little, just feels kind of strange to be right in between Michael's and TJ Maxx. You know what I mean? It's just, mm -hmm. and with the loading dock there, like it's, I, I do think, I agree that it, I, I feel like it's a little narrow. So where would you, what yeah, would what, you? The second choice? The plaza one? The only way we do that is if we block Somehow now they kept the kids from running across the street. And you didn't want to look at Sycamore and blocking that off and having them there. Because if we did block it off, that could be neat to have the park as mm -hmm. part of it. That was your original idea. Yeah. Part yeah. of the problem with, so yeah. Founders Park is a neighborhood it's park and you cannot have a programmed event there. Oh. oh. Yeah. Well, but it's not at the park. It, Why not? If it goes over into the park, if you're shutting down Sycamore so that people can go to the park, yeah. yes, you are. Oh. Why can't you have something there? It's a neighborhood park. Is that in oh, that's just a bylaw? That's, that's part of the guidelines of a neighborhood park. Oh, okay. It's a community park. Oh, and what about the other park you Asti Park. Asti Park is, is too small. Well, but it's way far away. There's no there's park. No park. There's no park. Oh, there's, and there's no flow. Um, yeah. Do like a blockade. That's what I was thinking. Couldn't you put blockades at the back end of the street? Block it here instead of the road? Yeah, There's I mean, I certainly I think that the event planner could help us yeah. make some determination. I just, you know, my concern is that you see that park and it's going to be hard to stop your kids from running. Right. If you have like a lot of attractions, I was going to say a lot of attractions that are kind of pulling yeah, you up here because this part up here with that green. It, there are never any cars there. But where Every, would you put a stage, or where would you eat? We get to sit on the asphalt. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's and the place true. that the well, that's boys the thing. Are, it's you'd small. have you'd have to have tents set up with tables, just like they do. Yeah, you what do they do in Louisville? At the, at the farmers market, you so would have to set it and up, and you'd have a place where people go and like sit and a eat. A tent, yeah. Yeah, there are tables set yeah. up under a tent. Yeah, like a, yeah I like a chili like bistro that. type of thing. Yeah, exactly. Which might be kind of fun. Make it inviting. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, bistro yeah, lights yeah, around it. Yeah, bistro lights, and yeah. then food trucks out there. I think people... Right. But you have to have activities for kids in the parking lot, too. Like the bounce houses. so small. So the one, the other thing, too, is... There's no big green space there, exactly. You know, it's a nice small area and would certainly, you know, depending on the numbers of people you hope to attract, would, you know, make it feel like a, a nice event. Mm -hmm. um, but then what happens if it gets bigger the next year, then where do we go? You know? Yeah. Could it potentially fill that whole space that's on the screen up to that? Mm -hmm. What's the green space over? See, I think we're still running into it. Oh, yeah. Time. I actually thought after we were leaving that that might not be a bad area, you know, because we're that parking area there. Yeah. But the thing is, there's no vendor there. access unless yeah. we were allowed, unless Target allowed us to use that parking area. Right. Um, but that's again, that's a you yeah, know, that's a Bricksmore question too. That mm -hmm. say, okay, if Target's not owned by Bricksmore. That's right. 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 That's right. That even Target probably would likely say no. Would be my guess. They have, um, oh, I do think they have let like, bikers for the bike of that. Do you remember? Do they have what? So when they do the um, Coffinburg bike.
raise. There is some parking over there, so we, they might not be opposed to allowing. Target, you mean? Uh huh. Yeah. In this space right here? Yeah. I would think the event would generate business for Target. You would think so. People would run in and grab things yeah. that they thought that they need. Well, but if you even yeah. put it in the green space to the left, you're still going to have the issue yeah, of kids right. running across yeah. the street to the park. Mm -hmm. yeah, they might not. Well, they're mm -hmm. going to be with their parents. Well, no, no, no. So that's one of the, the biggest things. That if you go to events, parents let their kids go and they're yes. not paying attention that's to true. them. Okay. Chili Fest, that was it, like every kid was on. Yeah. <laughs> and on, the, on the other hand, though, there's not a busy street with traffic. I'll raise my hand. I'm one of the parents because I'm working and my kids are running and having fun. But I know they're not going to cross a busy street. Right? I, I, no, I understand. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. No, I'm not saying that yeah. it was wrong at Chili Fest. I'm just no, saying that like, that is. If I'm aware, like, okay, there's a street here, then the parents mm -hmm. may be more. But alive. then would you come back to that event if you had to worry the whole time that your kids were going to run into the street and cross the street? Or cross back and forth because they're like, oh, I'm going to go over to the park. Oh, I'm going to come back to the event. Oh, I'm going to go back to I the park. Let them what about Sycamore? Why do we. I mean, is that really. Take not the table if we, you know, were able to use Sycamore with. I don't think you can shut the Sycamore. You can't down. do it. Oh, I see. Okay. I mean, you could. We can ask about doing it. You divert all that traffic into Original Town and up Cold Creek Drive. Oh, sure. Yeah, we we'll can do that. Well, yeah. well, you can also do it to 76. Scooch it up. You're not. No, no people are okay, going to so go through Original the Town. The problem is, since I live right here, S is Jane and S is Daryl, that. If you shut down Sycamore, that all those people are going to be going down Cold Creek Drive. For but the they events. do it in South. But the point is, oh, they do it all over. Imagine, guys, yeah, they do it in the Denver. line dancing yeah. event at yeah. Wildflower. You're yeah. going to have that impact. I mean, oh, in the neighborhood? In the neighborhood. You just do yeah. have one yeah. afternoon. Oh, wait, that's an idea. They can yeah. do what, Kevin? Well, you could close down Cold Creek as well and make people go around the Oh, street. that's an idea. I mean, what if people and have a might like that because then you're bringing people around yeah, I just think the center. Okay. One, that's well, an idea. one other alternative is rather than closing Sycamore off completely, what if we kept it open but hired a crossing guard to be there for the whole event? Well, well, police. You have the you have have sheriff, a uh, sheriff on either it, side. Another part of it, though, is that mm -hmm. parents the the parents the parents the promise to the neighborhood that they're not going to have community events at that park. Yeah. So they're not wanting kids to go. Well, no, kids go there all the time. It's not that. And I, I really am disappointed that you guys can't see the difference or understand the difference between a neighborhood park and a community park. And having, if you go to that park, it is busy all the time. So it's not like people don't come there. They go to Target and they love it and they use that park. But I don't, it's not meant for community events. It's, it's just, just not. I think that's probably about the busiest part. Isn't it San Diego most? I mean, it's being used almost all the time. Yeah. Well, the park is, which is um, really cool. I mean, it's, that's what a park is for. Yeah. Well, could we have it at Wildflower? But then we're no, taking, so I the point so. is to have an event in the marketplace to draw attention mm -hmm. to the marketplace. I know. And to a root, not whatever you want to call it, Northwest Superior. Well, the other place we looked at was actually the parking lot uh, between PetSmart and Wayne's. And we just mm -hmm. kind of thought yeah, it was really kind of, it was just a lot of asphalt. It's just a, yeah. Yeah. a parking lot, you know? No. Uh, PetSmart and yeah, right there. In there. The whole big oh. thing here. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Yeah. North. North. It's it's the the superior. Yeah. Well, you know what they do in other places? They bring in this these huge rolls of green felt. Ah, <laughs> That's what cool. they did in wherever I was in India. And we were on asphalt, and they bring in these huge rolls of green felt. And that makes it That's not hot, and cool. you can sit on it. <laughs> And nobody cares if it gets dirty. It's the end of the day. Uh -huh. And that's kind of your green and space. Could, and the other thing that I like yeah, about really Center Drive is mm -hmm. that wow. it's uh, tree-lined and shaded. Yes. Mm -hmm. So people, mm -hmm. you know, if we're going to have it in the summer, um, it's comfortable. Yeah. And we have you know, to think about rooms. vendors, too. Vendors. Right, and the vendors would be accessible. And, and well, there are, so if the street is blocked have. off, it also has um, parallel sidewalks on either side. So there's a lot of places for people to hang out on Central Drive. That's comfortable. So well, I don't think we're going to solve the problem yeah. tonight. And we do have a few other things okay. to um, Do people have other ideas or comments about 
the location to... No, we can... The janitor's ready to come in. Uh-oh. Uh, no, we have 20 more minutes. Yeah. No, he thought we were gone. I think... Oh, uh, oh, 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 Okay, so we're on to item number six, discussion program ideas. Two and sixes. Yeah, well, that happens when <laughs> Katie and I worked on it together. <laughs> Somebody needs to change the numbers. Um, it just makes for note-taking interest. Mm -hmm. um, so we have actually three things. Uh, the grand unveiling with the giant sheet. Um, the... Um, kid program and the um, evening with the artist. Mm -hmm. And so we just talked a little bit about the evening with the artist and people have uh, Oh, we're on the first number six, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're on the first number six, not the second number six. Um, the grand unveiling is later on, so that's not really, but we do, I mean, I think it would be good to get dates on the calendar for that. You said it was late. March or April? It's in April. 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 Okay. Uh, or, Mar you know, late March, early April is when he thought <coughs> that he would yeah. be ready. The weather's so. better. Maybe. Yeah. So. Um, and then we really need to figure out, I think the biggest thing is what this program for the kids looks like. Um, and should we even plan that before we have the schools on board? Well, I think we need to figure out what age teachers. groups. Yeah. Do we need to have it before the installation? Is that imperative? Does it have to be done before? And could it really be more meaningful mm. after it's installed? Oh, that's interesting. That's an interesting thought. His contract will be done, um, but he said he would do it. Mm -hmm. Well, if you work on that timeline, because right now, yeah, it would be hard to get the teachers and the kids engaged if it's just theoretical. They, I think there's you're no, right. I don't, they don't have a sense it. of scope or... So yeah. maybe it becomes um, part of the unveiling type thing, like the kids or the project, they, and then they might be excited to come to the unveiling or... Yeah, when he's they, finished before he's tearing it apart to ship it here. Yeah, that's actually... How long you mean is it going to take him to actually... Assembly when it's it there, during, like during the assembly. assembly yeah. I think for kids, you know, being visual, if it's there, yeah. and then he does, we do an art education about it, and then they're like, oh, now I want to go see it. Yeah. Because it's already up. And maybe the art education is also the installation. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's going to take a while. Part of the hard hat tour. Tour. Couple days. Like, hard hat hard hat tour. I love the hard hat tour it idea. It could be like a little field trip, maybe an art Kids would think that was so much fun. Oh, they would love that. Yeah. And, it would, yeah. and it would sort of depend on which, which art teachers get back to us, too. Right. I mean, that's, you know, they already have crews in design. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, but I like that. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, that really makes sense. All right, well, let's let's ponder that and also talk with um, Dow about that when we have our conversations with him. Um, and then the second number six is look at existing art locations and the possibility of moving some to more visible locations. The most obvious one are those silver coal carts um, behind Chuck E. Cheese. I know I missed that. Yeah, they, they used to be um, on a more open field before they did the diverging diamond, and now they're just sort of tucked back there. Mm -hmm. You don't even know see them. Right, but again, I don't know if this is a bricks more question or who, owns, you know, I think the town of Superior owns the art, but I don't know how we go about. Mm -hmm. I, I presume you do. That bricks more, the town of the. Um, it was paid for through the development of the marketplace. That doesn't mean they own it. Yeah. You just um, need to check. So I'm how do we find out? I'll, talk to I'll Matt? Just, yeah, I'll say, Matt, who owns those? And they are not going to put a street entrance to the new swimming pool, stickly furniture, where that one sculpture is, right? You know, when you're coming out there? there? Like by the mayor's store? That would be a nightmare. I think so. Like, no, you, there's a, um, 
And there was an entry monument sign. It was just a rock with the Town of Superior logo on it that was out here before the diverging diamond that has just right. disappeared. It'd be nice I suspect to... it's somewhere right there. I mean, you need your entries. We had talked about it being at one, being on the south end at yeah. 128, coming off mm -hmm. 128, and then of course a new one coming. It would be interesting to see them in the landscape because right. they're both very horizontal and I can't see either location that you just mentioned being mm -hmm. able to have such a large it seems like you need to yeah. Yeah. Unless it blocks Tesla. <laughs> 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 yeah, the SEC is suing Elon Musk mm -hmm. for um, securities violations. Whoa, that's a biggie. It's a, <laughs> no, I mean, it really is. You don't mess with the SEC. Well, it's like ten billion, billion, billion dollars yeah. during a trading session. Yeah. Well, he did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. before we move off and onto a tangent, does anyone have anything else they want to? Well, I do have a question. I agree. Yes. Um, when I do call flats and ask them how many people, because if you, I say we want to have an event for X amount of people. What do I say? Maybe you can ask what their capacity is for that yeah. area. Oh, you know, the event planner for Rock Creek might know too because that's where they have their. Yeah, they've had a couple there for They Rock have Creek. their. Um, no, not for Rock Creek Living, but just for the neighborhood when they have their. Yeah. What do you call it when you gamble? Casino. Casino. Yeah. 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 Okay. They have it. So they gamble. <laughs> that's on my brain. Come on, people. <laughs> The chamber, she yeah, she would know there. She would probably know capacity. It would be good to know capacity, and then we can sort of market to that. And that actually brings me back to marketing for all of these events. Like mm -hmm. part of the event planner, I, I think if Kelly were to do it, she does the marketing for That's the event. That's mostly her. But budget. that needs to get into the, the thought process. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And how that would come about. Are we doing that RFP for that? This fall, riding the RFP. We want to work on the RFP because we want to get it out and we want to hit the ground in um, January, provided the budget gets passed. Okay. Um, we want to hit the ground in January to be able to um, select and move forward with the planning of that. Can we do a little, when the mural's put up, can we do a little like thing for the mural on a Saturday morning or just the for it? What? A thing for it. A party? <laughs> yeah. A party? Yeah, a party. A mural party? Yeah. A parade. Yeah. 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 There should be a grand. There, there should be some kind of veiling of the There we go. Now the sheet. That's where you do the sheet. Yeah. That's where you do the sheet. Yeah. 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 Y
from know, the town. And from the town to do it, but I'll, I'll find out. Okay. Let you know if you need to get out your drills and your So Katie's gone them. next week. Next Thursday. So Sorry. somebody better go and pick her brain and <laughs> ask where all this stuff is. Yeah. Any She'll ideas be available. For She'll be available to even? us. So. Yeah. Um, she's not far away. Uh huh? She said that she's available to us to yeah, call her. She's not yeah, leaving the country. Hire, right? Yeah, she's not going to work right away, right? No. So we can hire her <laughs> as a girl. Oh. Okay. For transition purposes. Actually, we should yeah. send her the RFP for the main events. Um, what, what do you mean, wait, for her to be the planner? Mm -hmm. To be the consultant right there. The right? consultant for the main events. Mm -hmm. Or make sure she wants to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe she's, <laughs> she's on the pasture. Yeah. She wants to spend more time with her kids. Yes. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. all right, any other thoughts, questions? Yes. I just want to apologize for, you know, I've been very disengaged because I've spent the majority of the summer in Santa Fe with my mom, and so, and I've been very stressed, so I haven't kept up with everything, but I, so I can't take on any responsibilities, but I really do want to be able to stay on the committee. Yeah, we do. But my mom's um, not getting any more treatment, so. Oh, she's not doing that. Well, she broke her hip in addition to having the ovarian cancer. Yeah, it was just a nightmare. I was down there, and for 10 days, 11 days, I was driving between Santa Fe and Albuquerque, because oh, that's where she was in rehab. Oh my gosh. So, and I know I'll be going back, you know, my brother and sister and I are coordinating, but, mm -hmm. you know, don't have any idea how long it'll be. Mm -hmm. But it's got me pretty stressed. Yeah. <laughs> so, pretty stressed. Yeah. Very good. I didn't mean to bring it down. <laughs> <yet. laughs> My parents kept marrying people. Oh my gosh. And so, yeah. So, one, two, three of them are dead. How old is your mom? 88. Okay. Well, your parents were mine are 94 and 95. Wow. Well, we all figured she'd live to that long because she, she was never taking a pill for anything in her life. She was so healthy. She did everything yeah. right, and then, you know, yeah. you know. Is that nature? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yes. yeah, I mean, you um, can't help that. But. So I just, there's a lady in my needs group that was just really amazing. Her name is Stephanie Schott, and she's a... Oh, I know oh, Stephanie. Yeah. She's mm -hmm. a yeah. lady, right? Well, she does all the estate planning. She does estate planning and will mm -hmm. planning, but she spoke with us last week about how she has um, become certified to be an end-of-life doula, which is a concept I had never heard of before. Wow. Mm -hmm. No. Doula. Like doula. Like a doula is somebody who's at the end. Yeah. But you can also, it's like a life transition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's cool. She's just, I, I can't she's even imagine. She's amazing. It's like a yeah. I mean, it, what's it called? End of life End doula. Of she's life someone doula. who, she was certified to just help people do that. Oh, thank you. 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 O